we want to talk to you about something? Saul and I are in love. Excuse me? You're gay. We want to get married. Oh, married. Because we can do that now. I know, I hosted that fundraiser. ¿Qué pasa y cómo están mi gente? I am Zay Zay and welcome to a red letter day in my career. I'm going to call it that. Today I have the honor and privilege of sitting with like in my just straight up legends. I know they're legends to you, definitely legends to me. They're starring in a brand new Netflix original series. It's called Grace and Frankie, ladies and gentlemen. And if you guys wouldn't mind, everybody who's standing around, please help me in welcoming Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. No, no applause, but that's fine. That's fine. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll do it by myself. You help me. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. How you guys doing today? Okay, good. good one. Yeah. All right. Um, Grace and Frankie. I loved it. I honestly, I sat down with my wife and had to go get food. Had to sit. Had to, we tucked in oh, <laughs> and enjoyed boy, it. How fabulous! Oh, really enjoyed it. Um, I must say that I got thrown off a little bit by the strength of some of the language. I'll be honest with you. Maybe I'm a prude. Today? In today's age? <laughs> yeah. In I didn't think we were that out there. In today's well, age. Was it freeing guys. for you guys or was it more like, ah, this is no, how we no, get we, down? No, we, no. We both kind of pull away from uh, too many expletives, but uh, we're... The nature of the, the, the medium kind of yeah. encourages us sure. to curse occasionally. Right. right I think right, right, you're probably... Right. How many episodes did you see? Three. Three. I think, uh, I don't know if we curse that much. No, no, it. you don't. It's just No, but I understand. Jarring. My mother, if my <laughs> mother were here, she would be just stunned. <laughs> just stunned. Well, my character doesn't curse a lot, so the one time that I really do... UPS guy. To the UPS so, guy, so you know, bad. it's sort of like, whoa. Um, <laughs> exactly. But I try not to unless, you know, I don't like gratuitous swear words. You don't? No. Okay, I'll keep my... No, that's okay. <laughs> you call it as it is. I'm heartbroken. You're gonna make better memories. And you can reuse the frames. The They're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm so scared. Mom, we're gonna find you people to talk to. People who understand exactly what you're going through. There's a group for wives of husbands who've turned gay in their 70s. Alright, so one thing that I noticed, I noticed it in my uncle, my mom, my grandma. I noticed, and I'm noticing a little bit of myself, as people age, they tend to give less of a crap, right? That's true. Have, when did you guys notice that that's kind of where you wanted to be? You know what? I don't, I don't give a crap anymore. Well, we kind of, uh, I mean, well. You've as, always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> Not kind of. I mean, I might be inclined that way. I, it's taken a few years to uh, maybe really express it, you know. Uh -huh. uh, but as time goes on, you do, you realize, oh, God, time is, there's only a few years left. I better uh, get rid of all this stuff and put it out there. Put it out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, because I've written some books about aging, and, and there's a very common expression among older women. And because we don't want to say swear words, the F U the 50s. <laughs> it's like after 50s, who gives a fuzzy rat's ass anymore? You know, we're not in the market for guys or women. You know, right. we're... We're, what have we got to lose? The children are grown and out of the house if you have children, and we can just be who we're supposed to be. Yeah. And some of us, like me, take a little bit longer to find out who we are supposed to be. Mm. My character in the series sure. also, it's going to take her a while to see who she's supposed to be now that the rug has been pulled out from under her. Mm -hmm. you know, And yeah. this marriage that created her identity is no longer in existence. That's very common for women. Mm -hmm. you know, They fall into the rut of who their husband is and you know the club they belong to or whatever and suddenly that's not there anymore then then yeah. then they have to find out and it gives you a way to live i mean yeah. you you know you have children you do this you have charity work so you don't you don't and you get a little lazy right. about probing and going deep and seeing who you really are right yeah oh my god i would love to spend the whole day with you guys unfortunately my best friend over here said i got to go Oh, okay. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Zayzay.com is now Zay -Zay. worldwide. <laughs> Zay -Zay. That's great. Thank you so much. All right. Break down your emotions for me. Now you can't eat until Monday. You have to operate? I've never had surgery. Not ever? Like, say, up around here? No. 